Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, the SMA space sometimes feels like it's a, kind of like a, an underground community, kind of like a cult even. Uh, you see people signing, uh, you know, clients for 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, you know, e even $2,000. Uh, you see people uh, telling you, hey, sign this client for 3K or 4K or 5K, right? And sometimes it feels like we're doing some type of like wizardry uh, to get clients to sign on and come on board for our agency. And the reason why I think that is, is because a lot of people just, you know, they, they talk about the money, they talk about how much you can charge, but they don't really talk about why you can charge that amount, right? Why you can charge from anywhere from a thousand to ten thousand dollars a month yes you could charge more than that uh, especially if you're doing some type of like a retainer fee plus a percentage of ROAS or profit yes it could even go over at that amount but what I want to do in this video is show you guys why you're able to charge those types of amounts right and I truly believe that it's not only going to give you a lot of context into the SMA space and even if you have clients and I truly believe this is going to give you a lot of context into the SMA space and and really just give you a very good idea of why we're able to charge what we charge as well as break a lot of limiting beliefs that you may be having even if you have a client for a thousand bucks why you're actually worth a lot more and why you can charge 3k 4k obviously depending on the client and that's another thing that i'm a big advocate for uh, really being able to charge based on the value that we can actually bring them not, not just charge them 4k uh, and then all of a sudden we're shooting ourselves in the foot uh, because that's way too much for for that client and you're never going to make them a return on that but i digress basically what i want to do in this video is show you why we're able to charge 1 to 10k a month for our sma service why you're worth that much to them and the insane opportunity that there is with social media marketing agency. So without further ado, let's jump on my computer and we're going to be going over the numbers as well as the actionable strategies that you can use to go ahead and kill it with your agency. So let's get right into it. The first thing is the underlying problem most business owners face. And you guys really have to understand this to then understand why we're able to charge what we charge and the insane value that we're actually bringing business owners and why business owners are just desperate for us to come in and take care of their marketing. So the first thing that you guys need to understand is that most business owners are product obsessed. And that's a good trade of a business owner, right? Uh, they're product obsessed. So their business is just their baby and they put all their energy and attention on their product. Problem comes when they think people will just flock to it simply because it's a great product. And that is the biggest trap for business owners, right? They they put all this R&D, all this you know, research, time, attention to creating an amazing product, but then they, they just think people will just find it, right? On, the, on their own because it's just such a great product. That's really the, the first problem that they have. The second problem is not enough eyeballs. Then they realize that not enough people are buying the product because not enough people even know about the product, right? Keeps them up at night. Now they have all this inventory, they have invested greatly on research and development and into creating amazing products. They have a team that they need to take care of, right? Incredible team that is probably quite expensive and that just runs like clockwork, but they don't know where their next customer will come from. And that is just keeps them up at night, right? It, it doesn't let them sleep uh, tight at night simply because their business could crumble any second, right? There's not a predictable stream of customers pretty much on autopilot. And the final thing is they don't have time and, and expertise. They know that marketing is, is something that they should be looking into. Marketing is something that they should have handled and working smoothly and predictably, but they simply don't have the time to try to master it. And that is the underlying problem most business owners face. Even worse, traditional uh, media does not cut it anymore for most small to medium-sized businesses. For most small to medium-sized uh, businesses, traditional media used to cut it. The problem with traditional media is that their cost has exponentially increased over the years. And it's kind of like an auction ground where you're competing for the same attention against massive dogs. For example, if you're in the sport apparel uh, space, you're competing against Nike, uh, Puma, Adidas, right? You're competing against these massive brands that have millions and millions of ad spend and they're just a, a pretty you know, small, maybe even medium, maybe even large, but not, not to the extent of Nike. Uh, and they just can't compete because it's an auction ground and they're bidding for the same attention. In this uh, bar graph uh, by Life Marketing, we can see the, the CPMs for different marketing avenues. And, and CPMs, for, for those of you who don't know, is the cost per 1,000 impressions. So how much it costs us to get in front of 1,000 people. And we can see for direct mail, it's by far the highest. Um, and if we take a look at the lowest, it's social media at around 2.5 um, dollars. That, that's, that's an average. For Facebook, it's around 4 to even 7 dollars. Uh, but on average, social media is around that $3 mark. And the funny thing is, even though the costs have exponentially increased, the uh, returns that you get from it are actually slimmer because you need to hit a, th a certain threshold where it actually makes sense, right? And that is where for, for a lot of massive companies like Nike, it actually traditional media does make a bit more sense. They can maybe see a few returns simply because you get enough omnipresence. But the bottom line is traditional media just doesn't cut it anymore. Now, business owners are desperate for a way to bring in customers predictably and profitably. This graph, which shows the biggest challenges of being a business owner, 
Uh, number one is living with the uncertainty that comes with owning your own business. And what I can tell you is that uncertainty is mainly where is the next customer going to come from? If you have a predictable stream of customers on autopilot on a monthly basis, you're not living with the uncertainty that comes with being a business owner. Funny thing is most of them aren't even using online advertising. And th this is where, honestly, I don't understand where a lot of people get this misconception. They think that everyone in the world is just doing social media marketing, right? Everyone in the world has already tapped into online advertising. Every, every single business out there has their online advertising taken care of. And that is just completely not true. But don't just take it from me. Let's look at some stats. So we've got 30 million Facebook business pages in the world right now, right? Only 1.5 million are actually spending money on advertising. And that could literally be like, they're spending $30 a month. Because Facebook does give you a free like voucher thing. Uh, when you've got a business page um but that could literally be like they literally use the, the voucher for like 15 dollars or 30 dollars they would instantly be put in that category right so it's a, a very very slim number of people that are actually advertising that means 95 percent of businesses are losing hundreds of thousands of dollars and you know just to give you an example um prove it which is a, a pretty big company in the keto and just clean nutrition space um is they're not even running ads it's not because they can't right in 2018, they made $325 million. They're pretty big in MLM, uh, which seems to be their, their main marketing medium. Uh, but that just comes to show that even the biggest brands in the world are not even implementing uh, Facebook advertising and, and online advertising in general. Now, here is where you come in, okay? Uh, so you're literally solving their number one biggest problem. Through your services, you're bringing them new leads, customers predictably. You're solving the number one biggest challenge, right? When you solve large challenges, you get large compensations. We're not tricking anyone. We're not tricking business owners. We're providing so much value. We're literally solving their number one biggest challenge. And that is why we get compensated so much. The bigger challenge you solve, the bigger compensation. Number two, you are not an expense. You are an investment. You operate to make the money. Our service is revenue driven. Guys, understand that business owners always spend millions and millions of dollars a month just on expenses, like literally cleaning their office, right? That, that is an expense and that's something that they have to pay for and that's not making them any money. Sure, uh, you know, they have to keep the office clean, but that's not going to make them any money. We are making them money. The third thing is tangible and trackable. With online advertising, it's crystal clear the return you're getting for them. It's easy for you and for them to justify the investment. The final thing is 1,000 to 10,000. For many of you, it might sound like a lot, but you need to understand business owners already have thousands, if in many cases, millions a month on expenses, bills, staff, et cetera, et cetera. Would they pay you 5,000 if you're gonna make them 10,000 plus? Absolutely yes, right? And so that is where you come in. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that and hope everything's a lot more clear now and you can go out and sign those bigger retainers. You can go out and even sign SMA clients because you know just the insane value that we are providing for them. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. It will help us out a ton with the algorithm. Also, leave down below any comments, any questions you may have and I'll be checking those out. Lastly, that was actually a tiny snippet of a whole presentation, a free masterclass that I put together for you guys. There's nothing for sale at the end, okay? And honestly, I've been getting insane feedback from the people that have come from the masterclass, uh, watched it fully, completely. People literally telling me that the stuff in the masterclass is, a, is worth a lot more than courses they've bought. So if you want to check out the free masterclass, go ahead and check out the first link in bio and I really hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, hope everything's going well in your agency journey. Also, if you haven't stopped my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out. I'm uploading four to five times a week on this channel all about entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to SMMA. So if you don't want to miss that out, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey. Hope you and your family are safe and I will speak to you in the next one. Peace.